Hello, hello everybody. Hello, Mona and Beverly. We got Carrie trying to track down her package. I'm sure I got everything muted. So I gave her some phone numbers and relayed some messages to her. So she's on the phone. Hello, Randy. Randy drove by my place today. He's on 49 now. Hello, guess who, Nancy? Hope Carrie can track down her package. I may be making too much noise. She may have to mute me. I'll be quiet. I, I won't talk. I won't talk because I know the sound from here comes through there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click over on the email and check it again. Hello, Mary Webb. Carrie's trying to attend to important business right now. Hello, RV Quilt Quest.
There's the link. Anybody else want to come up? Carrie, can you hear me? Ramona's here if she needs to give you some more information. Do you hear me, Carrie? I can hear you. <laughs> that tells you anything. She's trying to track down her package. They can't get into the building. Well, they're not, there should be a button in the ring. I wouldn't think they could have access code. There's always something. It is. It's always something. Yeah. It's like... I know I have a whole bundle of safety pins. Do you think I can find one? <laughs> oh, she she's off the phone. You we can't, we can't hear you, Carrie. You have to unmute yourself and tell us what's going on. I have to call back tomorrow. Have to call back tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I thought I was getting awful late. At, at least, at least you know, you know, you know what you know. So. Come on. Yeah. One, one safety pin. All I want. Hello, Shayla. Hi, Shayla. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Looks like she's resting. She does, don't yeah, it? I'm in bed. I'm pooped. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sew all day or no, drive all uh, day? We don't or? start the sewing retreat till tomorrow afternoon. Oh, okay. Like at four. All but right. I have traveled for two solid days in nothing but rain. Uh huh. That's <laughs> all. I had my I windshield wipers on the whole, the last two days. I never turned them off because it That's rained. Oh, it's tiring, let me tell you. And the traffic going through Nashville was, I'm going to go back a different route because that's just, I'd go 40 to 50 miles. There's five lanes. Every lane is packed. Every other one's a semi. And we were going like 20 miles an hour. Hmm. It was okay. just, uh, <laughs> there it goes. Well, my son was just down there and he said nothing about traffic. Uh, awful. Uh, 14 of us met tonight to go out to eat. And we all have to meet each other. And we're all hugging each other. <laughs> Did Marla make it? Yeah, she sat right next to me. Wow. Yeah. We're going to go to some quilt shops in the morning. Mm -hmm. They've got a thing. Uh, buy a ticket for $12. Hey, and this bag, and it's got vinyl on the outside. And you go to each shop, and they're giving you different little items and stuff. And the day that you purchase your ticket, so I pre purchased mine for tomorrow. Then you get twenty percent off of everything you buy in the, wow. in the quilt shops. Like one of them, she got a little bookmark, and another girl, she picked a fingernail file. 
but you get a little something at each shop, you know, that they give you. I think one of them, they got a pattern. And one of them, they got a little bitty strawberry cheesecake piece with the recipe. So they got that. So, but I'm just tired. I just need to rest tonight. <laughs> I'll be ready to go in the morning. But I've had two long days of driving. Hello to yeah. Brenda and Gladys. Yeah. Yesterday should have been no, a five-hour trip. Night. It was a seven-hour trip. <laughs> uh, because of traffic. So. so when I get up in the morning, I will call them right away. Yeah. Yeah. Check, check into it tomorrow. It's, yeah. you, <laughs> I missed the office. They closed early. Uh, so he didn't right. get it today? Nope. No. Maybe tomorrow. I have to give them my buzzer code. They've oh. been here once already. They know it. Uh, yeah. Well. Hmm. Yeah. But that's for your safety that everybody doesn't have it. So that's a good, yeah. that's a good well, to I have like ring, like camera on my front door. And I just looked at it yesterday just for the heck of it. And they're like a little package. I'm like, what? Oh. So I called my friend Joyce, who's plant sitting for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, she went over and picked it up. But it was a piece of fabric from Miss Missouri Star that was back ordered. Okay. And it finally came in. But it was shipped by UPS, and that's why it got delivered. Did they you know. get a message saying it was delivered? Are you talking about Carrie's package? No, I think they got, it was supposed to have been delivered and it wasn't. It's the reason they went to checking into it. It's the way I'm understanding it. Um, I was in Memphis at my niece's <coughs> and I got to see, there was just a little sliver of the sun, but all the rest of it was black. So I'd say about 90%. She, she wants my code and she needs my number. If you if you type your phone number in the private chat, I will email it to her. Okay, I will. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, this is the apartment code. So I'm putting apartment first. Carrie's gonna Carrie's gonna have to wait till tomorrow for her box opening. <laughs> making yeah. us all night. She's making not, us all not night. Tonight. Shoot. <laughs> not tonight. We were ready for it. Yeah. yeah yes, I was I was, I was looking forward to it. <laughs> no, it was it wasn't porch bandits. They just couldn't get into her building. Yeah. And it got it got so late enough in the day. She's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Carrie was talking earlier about fog. I had a lot of fog today driving it's through. It's back again. And I, you want to hear something weird? I was out front watching, and the two cars were driving on the wrong side of the street. Oh, no. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's the code for the getting into the building. You have to dial one before you get to Canada. Well, you know what my postman to do? If they have a something that won't fit in the mailbox, they will uh, put it by my front door and ring the doorbell. But also, instead of just giving me all the mail right there, they'll put the rest of it in my mailbox. Mm. But I guess that's what they're supposed to do. But why not just bring all of it at once? Mm -hmm. Because you got to bring that box anyway. Now, Ramona, I've sent you a message from Carrie. How come I always get in the middle of this stuff? Because <laughs> you're special. I don't know how that happens. You're special, Rita. I don't. <laughs> 
I don't mind, but I, but all I can do is, well, let me send this and this and this. And... Well, yeah, you don't want to put it on here for other people to see, you know, private yeah. stuff like that. Here's a common <laughs> leg. Here's a common leg for everybody here. I do the best I can, but sometimes I fail you guys. <clears throat> I did find a safety pin. Oh, okay. <laughs> I keep all my safety pins in this little trinket box thing. Hmm. Extra drawer. So it's it's my, it. I just moved my safety pins all in one place. All of them are together. And do you Somewhere. think I can find them? Hey, Stan, Ron, you want me to send you a whole jar full? <laughs> <laughs> I found one in my kitchen drawer. <laughs> I got a jar full of them. You want some? <laughs> Where's Francis tonight? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Well, other than comments, I've not talked to her. Is she in the comments? No, I mean on on videos and stuff or yeah. Facebook. Oh, okay. Come on. It's like she's been busy, it seems like, always something. Mm hmm I don't know why grandmas have to do things dumb like this. Oh, it's like, because we do. <laughs> <laughs> they have a cargo net that's just everywhere. So I made a bag to put it in. Okay. So now I'm making the drawstring top. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> and you needed that safety pin. To run the homemade string through it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good night, Hello, Leo. You been sewing? Hi, Leo. You been helping Carrie? The other night, all she was doing was sleeping. Oh, <laughs> yep, on my bed. Yep, huh. she was getting it warm for for Carrie. Carrie, that when I got in, it was so hot I couldn't sleep. <laughs> it was like a hundred mile, a hundred degrees in there. Uh. Well, I didn't get to my lodging place last, last night to about seven thirty, and I hadn't had dinner. And across the street, I seen a Waffle House, so I went over there and. And I had like a pecan waffle and it was really good. But on the menu, I noticed if you order to them, like to go pick it up, they charge you a 20% fee. Really? 10% uh. fee goes to the server and the other 10% fee is for it being a takeout order. Huh. Like an inconvenience fee, or you're paying for the yeah. styrofoam that they put it in. And someone said, Well, maybe that's for because if you're there, you're going to give like the waitress a tip, you know. Well, why would I? <laughs> it's like she's not doing anything. I know. So, but I, don't I know. think I, that just kind of caught my eye. You it's know. a gratuity thing. Yeah. <laughs> They, like, do it, they do it here too, Sandra. Do I they? would say, well, I guess I'm going to a fast food restaurant and you can keep your yeah. gratuity. Mm -hmm. But I was glad they were open, you know, because I don't yeah. know if they, if they stay open late anymore. We used to use them in traveling back and forth a lot when the kids were little. Because <laughs> it's a cheap place to eat and you can get food pretty quick. They might get a bag with a safety pin in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Carrie, I sent you another private comment. Did you see it? Yeah. Well, I think they've got some kind of tool that you can use, but I've always just pinned the elastic to a, a big pin and just run it through there, right. you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Well, I have one of those two. I have two different things for shoving this through. 
I can't find none of them. They must all mm -hmm. ran away. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There, there's a long skinny one that kind of you put the elastic and it, it tightens up. You got one of those? I don't know where mine's at. I hadn't used it in 20, 30 years probably, but yeah. we don't need no fancy dancy tool. We just need a safety pin. <laughs> safety pin, yeah. 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 And the only reason I have those fancy things is because I inherited them from my grandma, I think. Yeah. And she she couldn't figure out how to run it. She says safety pins are easier. Open <laughs> and close. Yeah. Hi, Deb. Hello, Deb. And Hello, I hate Deb. and Marie. Safety pin just opened. <laughs> Don't stab yourself. No care. Well, it's hidden in the thing. I, you know, I never used a paper clip. No, I've, I've used a hair barrette before. I've used my hair barrette. No. It's like this safety pin just keeps opening. I'm trying I to get use, it. Like, use a big safety pin, you know. A thingamajig. Use a thingamajig. Is that what you call it? What you call it? <laughs> now, the what you call it's a Sam uh, candy bar. Uh -huh. And I think there's a candy bar now called the thingamajig also. Oh, I hadn't heard of the thingamajig uh -huh. candy bar. Well, they had to take advantage of everybody else getting for weird words. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just start through that little hole. Well, gasoline is a lot more expensive over here. Uh -huh. I mean, over here, what I'm paying for unleaded at my house is what I'd pay for a hundred percent gas. Oh, the the high octane stuff. Mm -hmm. Phew! I finally got it started. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> you started. You ought to be halfway done by now. <laughs> I am half done. I decided to go the other way because my thumb's killing me. Uh, yeah, she keeps uh, that. And that night while I was on, she was stabbing her thumb so many times with the pins. I got the Nora quilt all done, and I forgot to put the label on it. Oh, no. So I have to do it a different way now. Huh. Yeah. Start, 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 <laughs> and then hand sew it on. Yeah, it is. Well, I just got my cut from my rotary cutter to finally heal up. <laughs> <laughs> Get some steel tip gloves. And then you won't do that again. Well, that's the first time I've ever cut myself with a rotary cutter. Mm -hmm. Oh. It used to be every new blade I'd trim my finger. Hi, Karen. I says, I know it's a chubby finger, but this is the one I type with. This one needs to be smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just give them two handles so they could pull and just tie the top shut so nothing fell out. Waffle House is a disaster gauge. The weather yes. people, please, and such count how many Waffle Houses are open, and it tells them how people are getting around. The Waffle really? House is always open. I didn't know that. Yep, yeah, they're always open. But they weren't very busy. They just had one other customer. Uh oh, I might get in trouble. The around here, the traffic coming in for the eclipse wasn't bad, but they said as quick as it was over, traffic went to backing up on the interstate. I yeah. guess it was over. They all left at the same time. Yeah. I didn't have far to go. Mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't have very far to go either. I, I, just, I just went outside and put my special glasses on and mm -hmm. looked at it. <laughs> I didn't look at it. I watched it on the, um, the computer. I watched Rita's get a little dark. I got watched mine get hazy, and then I watched the news after that. You know, it, it got a whole lot darker than what this computer live stream was showing, though, just for a short time. But it but the computer didn't, Did quite, it. didn't quite show it. Like it, it didn't was. get dark at all. It just got just a little bit darker, mm -hmm. but then it, then afterwards it got lighter, you know, but that was all. 
But some people were talking about really how spectacular that was. Well, if you was it where you got like you have total 90%. darkness, you know. Yeah, the ninety percent is awesome. Yeah. But it it got it got total dark, and there was that that ring around the moon. We saw the, all that. Yeah. Yeah. When I first started, I put the glasses on. Now where is it? Where is it? And then all at once, I seen some black in the sky around mm -hmm. close to the sun. I'm like, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was awesome just to see that black up there in the sky. Lisa saying good night all. Yeah. Good night, Lisa. Good night, good night Lisa. Lisa. But <laughs> it was fun watching your daughter do her version on there too. <laughs> yeah, it was. And you know, they were down in the middle of town, down at the courthouse with the street lights coming on. You didn't get that full darkness with street lights on. Right. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. And, and all of a sudden that day, the plane crash. The plane crash. Had a plane crash that day in, in the county. Did, did you see on Facebook? I don't know who posted it, but you could see the sun and the moon, and then you seen an airplane. Yeah, that, that kind of behind it. it, and you know, it got so dark that I was seeing a star up in the sky, too. I was seeing really, a star. yeah, I only, I only saw one, but I saw it. But I like when your son in law, when she goes, You want to say hi to your mother in law? He goes, Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then when she went to her son to say something, he just looks in the camera and back out. <laughs> I go, boy, you got I an kindly, family. <laughs> I kindly thought her son-in-law rolled his eyes at her. He probably did. He probably did. Because <laughs> the first thing was, I, I do they get along? <laughs> well, on the yeah. news, the mayor of Jonesboro, Arkansas, was talking about how they had been planning for this for a full year mm -hmm. of this yeah. event happened. But I don't know if they got as many as what they were expecting. I don't know. I can see the tippy top of the safety pin. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> you did it lose it? Nope, it's right there. Huh? It's my thumb's giving out. Huh? I can't go hitch my that bar. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hold your thumb up. <laughs> no, it hurts so bad. And uh, I gotta mow my lawn. Hmm. Uh, but it's like, well, over in Memphis, I noticed all the zellia bushes are blooming. All the dogwoods are in full bloom. Hmm. It was so pretty. Hmm. And it's cold here again tonight. I, I built a fire late this evening. It was that, that cold. Well, I think this being out in the rain and stuff, I got kind of cold, you know, from that. <laughs> At least I've made it through it. That's the main thing. Phew. Oh, Carrie, yeah. you going live? It, yeah, she's got to cancel that, doesn't she? <laughs> Did I cancel it? Oh, evidently not. <laughs> oops. Oops. That's an oops. <laughs> it's okay. We all know why you're not there. Yep. I'm alive somewhere else. Well, I didn't know how to get those messages to you from Ramona. I didn't, you know, without you coming up here to tell you what she was saying. So. <laughs> uh, messenger. Messenger. Yeah, you can send her those messages through Messenger, too. Mm -hmm. Marla said that she can't get phone service over here, and she only right. lives 30 miles away. Yeah. Uh, but but I have I have it, and I live in Oklahoma. I said I could send her a message and see if she answers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been sending Hello, it to her. Sarah. A Facebook Messenger. Hi, Sarah. I, I've got a gnat. He's flying around my Sarah. face. We thought you was waving at us. 
<laughs> I can't get rid of it. It just keeps bothering me. Now, who's Mima? I, I don't know. I think she calls me Mima. Yeah, Mima Rita. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pat's trash to treasure. Hello. We saw you this afternoon. <coughs> We're back again. I feel kind of disconnected because I haven't been on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Have withdrawals. I know. Sheila, are you holding that with your feet? No. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> okay, it looks like it. No. Uh, it's on a little, it's in a folding case. And it kind of. Oh, okay. Closed. And little Natalie Marie weighed in at seven pounds, 10 ounces today at her one month appointment. Oh. And yesterday was Millie's birthday and today's Deanna's birthday, but we're not having the party until Saturday. Yeah. I took Austin out for lunch today on his birthday. Oh, today's his birthday. Yep. So for, that's my youngest grandchild and he's 22. Mm, nice. <laughs> I mean, me old. My youngest is one. But I'm telling you, I got a kick out of Millie when we gave her that when I gave her that sewing machine. I need some fabric. <laughs> <laughs> I need some fabric. It's like Alani when I got some fabric in, she kept pressing it. She put oh. it out on the table and she'd take her hand. I said, oh. What are you doing? I'm pressing it for you. <laughs> Do, do they still make those little toy irons like they used to have? Didn't they used to be little toy irons when we and were ironing board? I think they probably do. Little ironing board. Yeah, and the little <laughs> ironing board. I haven't thought about them in a long time. But... That'd be a cute Christmas present. It would. Yeah. I remember my girls, they had a little toy iron and they had an iron board mm -hmm. and uh, alani knows the difference between paper scissors and grandma gigi ma scissors real scissors <laughs> he says you don't touch gigi ma scissors yeah I, i've written Jaden with her life if she ever uses my sewing scissors to cut paper <laughs> said here you can have these walmart mm -hmm. scissors <laughs> I could probably wear this as a hat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Are you folding it down so you can? Yeah, I can <laughs> I can have a weird hat. Yep, I could wear it as a hat. You could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I want to make hot. sure it's big enough. It's like I don't want it to be too small for the cargo net. It's for a guy thing. Mm. You know how some of us are organized to the hilt and some of us don't care. Uh, I was I'm, trying to get Bailey to help me vacuum today. No, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> she just kept me. She'd come back in from running outside and she'd shake and I go, will you leave your hair outside, please? <laughs> and Mary Williams fashionable it sounds sandy. familiar. Yep. Yep. I even put box corners in it. <laughs> Fancy bag. <laughs> there's a mm. there's a message for you, Carrie. When we read it to you, Carrie, Carrie David got DHL gave DHL your phone number. They will try to deliver tomorrow. Keep your phone with you. The access code is the four numbers you sent Rita, correct? Sorry again, and don't worry about it. You'll get it. 
It's okay. It happens before, Mona. They've been here once, and then they went to the wrong building. So that access code was those four that you get that you that I sent to her. That was the access code or your apartment number. The no, access that's code. the code. Okay. And then I will tell them to come up all the way up to PH eleven. I'm on the penthouse. Okay. You're not either in a penthouse. <laughs> That's what you call it. <laughs> You're just up there in the sky where no yeah. bleed zone. Yeah, I would take you to it. <laughs> right. Don't take me over that balcony. I don't uh -huh. like height. I don't either. That that I will not. No, it's raining out and it's pouring like. A well, dog. now she's going to try and get us sick. Yeah. She's going to get us wet in the rain, and then we won't be able to do anything. I don't, I don't need to be sick. Oh, I'd feel right at home. <laughs> Let's two days of it. <laughs> well, you can just have it. There. Well, I think we're supposed to have rain tomorrow, but then Saturday's going to be there. clear. PH 11. Uh-huh. Yeah. Penthouse. Okay. I guess you could say PH stood for penthouse. I've never heard of a studio penthouse. No. I haven't either. Well, <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be 7 Eleven. Yeah. And Susan's six hours from home. That's still several hours, and it's eight o'clock. So yeah. you're getting closer. You're getting closer to home. <laughs> it, it fit, it fit, it fit. <laughs> I just grabbed a pant leg and started making the bag. Francis, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I thought I Francis needs a link. I guess I didn't pin it. I thought I had. It's pinned. It's pinned. At the very right. top. Well, yep, at the penthouse level. <laughs> <laughs> at the very top. But there, there it is again. I didn't see it at the very top, but when I kept scrolling, I'd say about halfway down, I seen yeah, it. Yeah, she's, she's got it in several places because she's trying to get Carrie, Carrie. <laughs> well, I was trying to pass on some messages. I was watching. I came back up and go, ha. Huh. You want to back up on my bed? Okay. I think I'm going to sign off. I'm getting tired. Um, well, get rested up for all that shopping at 20% off. Uh -huh. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Hey. I'm getting ready to go. I'm tired. No, I'm not going to be on here long because we just got yeah, home from long the long VA. We're making uh, you big. So. <laughs> Francis, have you had rain? Lots and lots of wind. Yeah, I figure a lot of it's going to pass on more east to, to your area. And whoever my secret person was, I received your stuff today in the mail. Oh, what'd you get? I got to see that before I go. I got the, uh, what you call this? Oh, that the white. Two and a half inch squares. Yeah, uh -huh, of the white. And a half a yard of these three materials. Well, if I can get them. I got that one. That one. I think that's the old glory. And that one. Yeah. And I owe Rita five, six dollars and eleven cents. So I'll you don't, owe, you don't owe me nothing. <laughs> that's the other part of the free gift. Well, thank you. Well, Rita, I, I seen those. It was exact. hard to make. It was hard to make everything come out exactly fifty dollars. So yeah. I had. To, yeah. I know. Yeah, Rita, I seen those exact. Uh, we went in Miller's Dry Goods over here in Berlin, Ohio, and they had the exact Oh Glory. They had that there, and then they had my. What was it, Ridge Line or something like Ridge, that? Ridgewood, uh huh. Yeah, Ridgewood, and I seen the exact ones there. Okay. And I was telling Marla, I said, this is what Rita's got here. 
you know, and, and I told her I had a fat quarter bundle to go with what I got, you know, from you on that one. So, yep. uh, I did, I did meet, I don't know if you've heard of a designer. Her name's Corey Yoder. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I met her aunt. She oh, works in a uh, quilt shop. It's called the Plaid Sheep. Okay. It's the name of the quilt shop huh. here. Huh. Yeah, because Corey Yoder lives, her address is here in Berlin, Ohio, somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. But yep, yeah, met her aunt. I, I bought some, some Corey Yoder fabrics came late this afternoon, but I haven't opened the box yet. But it was some of her white on whites, is those coriander seeds is what's in the box. That's oh, what it's coriander it. seeds? Uh-huh, seeds. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I need to tell Marla that because she asked her today, did you have any coriander seeds? Mm -hmm. She was asking. But, th but they came after after that live. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell her in the morning just so she knows I, it. I could go get the box and open it, couldn't I? So have y'all got have have you uh, got yeah, to the uh, thing yet? Have y'all started your little retreat yet? No, it starts tomorrow afternoon at four. Mm. Oh, okay. We can check in to our rooms at three, but she's not going to open up the the sewing part until four. We get to. Get oh, okay. We, and uh, have, she's got to bring. Come to the hen party, Butler Farm. She's got to bring her stuff in. And then she has us assigned seats and all of our name tag and all that there. So she's got all Well, that. we went to the VA today. Uh, we've been gone all day. We hadn't been home probably an hour. And his carotid test come back fine. His brain scan came back fine. They changed some of his medicine from day to night and hoping that's going to help. If it don't, I'm going to go crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that the tests were all negative. I mean, that's Me a too. good sign. Me too. You know, but still. He's not been eating, though. He lost more weight. And yesterday I went and got him five quart. I mean, four quarts of uh, egg drop soup. He mm -hmm. loves egg drop soup. So he's been eating that. And I'm glad does, he's been eating he a little drink, bit. Does he drink Boost any? No. Yeah. He, don't, he doesn't like that stuff. <laughs> no. I wasn't even. I'll go with the egg flour soup. <laughs> the egg drop soup. Yeah, that one well, there. Someone is said excellent. that they got booze for their mom and they love it. Well, we uh we got this one place uh, on the other side of town, chi little Chinese place. It's in a bad section of town, but it makes the best egg drop soup than any uh -huh. other one around because we've tried them all. Yeah. It, it is hard to find someone that makes a good one. Because, you know, when he was, you know, I got some of my teeth pulled and he got his pull, his whole top pulled and he kept going Honey. back and getting it and going back and getting it. Hold your but head up. I got to go get the rest of mine done here soon. Hi, Perry. All right. Good night. Good night. All right, Sheila. I'm glad I got to see you. Good night. Yeah, I was asking about you earlier. All right. Good night. That's good what night. made me. That's what made me sign on because I said somebody just ask about me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was telling Rita I was having withdrawal because I hadn't been on YouTube in a couple of days. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have fun. Oh, I will. You know when girls get together. Oh, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> I was supposed to go to Nathan's tomorrow night and babysit, but that the kids decided they wanted to stay with this one and that one. And I was like, yay. <laughs> you didn't get that excited when they told you that, did you? Uh-huh. I said, look, I said, Nathan, you just go ahead and let them go. I said, because I have got so much to do to get ready for this trip. I said, you just let them go right on ahead. Yeah. And guess what Johnny did? He dropped one of them 3,000-pound toolboxes on his toe. Mm. <laughs> and they took him to the doctor. It's broke, but... But not shattered. I, I, I don't guess it's shattered, but it looks like it would be. Just think if he'd have had on steel-toed shoes, it wouldn't have protected it at all. It probably cut all his toes off 
as heavy as that was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they weigh between three and four thousand pounds. Yeah. Wow. My husband would never buy the steel toe. He bought the composition because it pops back up faster or Mm -hmm. the steel stays down. Yeah. But they don't have to wear steel toe shoes. I I don't know. He but I asked him tonight. He said it was feeling better, but he was supposed to go back to the doctor Friday or Saturday and get them to check it he says but i think it's gonna be all right i've been taking care of it i said boy you better go let them check it out yeah it it's gonna take a while to heal i think my broken toe yeah he'll lose his nail yeah but i broke my toe several times it takes weeks to heal i broke mine when i went to florida and i tell you what that was a hurting thing yeah. Did he, did, he, did he hurt the box, Randy said? <laughs> he probably did, Randy. <laughs> oh, me. You got a in it. Yeah. Uh, so what have you been doing, Carrie? Um, I'm almost done with the boys' blanket. And I'm waiting for a box to come. And you've been working on your diamond art, hadn't you? Yep. I thought you had. I thought I saw it. I've been so busy. I hadn't even had a chance to even get on hardly. Oh, wow. You're getting on up there. Yeah. Yeah. Working on that one. Then when that one's done, I'll go do the other one. Yeah. With the horse and the lady. Uh Uh-huh. That's her father-in-law's. And then the one with the horse and her, the, that horse passed away. That was oh. over six years old. Oh wow! Yeah, but they couldn't they couldn't bury it alive. They had to um, burn it mm-hmm. and, and take away the ashes. And then they had to dig up some dirt because they don't want the animals to get sick. Hmm. Oh, okay. Because if the horses can get the same disease what we have. Huh. Sure. That's awful. Yeah. And right now they got a new horse and her name is Rita. Uh, <laughs> and that Rita, one Rita, you got a horse named after you. Yeah. I'm there for me, don't I? Yeah. And it's only not even two years old. And it's wild thing. Uh. Rita, what did you name your little calf? Or the one that you're milking now? El- Terry calls her El Zadie. El Zadie? <laughs> <laughs> we That's never changed it. He started calling her that just for fun, and then we never changed it. So now, yeah, lady. Wow. <laughs> I gotta go check my meatloaf. I'll be right back. All righty, you go check that meatloaf, Miss Sandra. If you can smell it, Francis, is oh, good. it smells so good. <laughs> I've not had meatloaf, and I couldn't tell you when. <laughs> and it doesn't have no chicken involved or turkey. <laughs> well nathan was gonna cook a hey, steak for me tonight but since i don't have to i mean tomorrow night since i don't have to go i won't get my steak i told him he can do it the next mm-hmm. friday night i have to come and pam i just saw the spinner you wanted so i see that She placed a big order with me, Pam, from oh, Crafting for So Good. Oh, uh oh. I didn't do it. I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was over here where the chat was. I was just picking up my notebook. And all of a sudden, <laughs> she was Better than the Love's Hot Dogs. Randy had Love's Hot Dogs. 
I love hot dogs and I also love pizza. Nobody can eat pizza like me. Uh-huh. I could eat five slices in in a day. So, but mm-hmm. Randy, you're you're back to driving the truck again. You gonna you gonna do some lives now too? We miss Randy when he um drive his truck, don't we? It's quiet. Mm-hmm. Everybody's tired. Oh. The weather. I could I feel. Try, and we'll we'll stay a few more minutes and then I think I'm gonna go yeah. chill out too before bed. Yes, Francis, what happened? I'm not touching another thing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I did I thought I did it. And then uh, I picked up the book and all of a sudden you disappeared. Uh, <laughs> leftover hot dogs. They're not that great the first time, so the left time they'd be left over, they'd be worse, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. But we have them because that's quick and easy sometimes. Yeah. Pork, um, I like hot dogs. Well, I, a little, every once in a while, but I wouldn't want them all the time. Yeah, I agree with that one. Oh, he's a, yes, I started back Tuesday. I'm on I-49, just north of I-40. 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 I don't know. Where's I-49? I don't know where I-49 is. Where's I-49? I I have no idea. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Tad's trash to treasures trying to figure out the stream yard. You just you just have to go sign up on it and get started on it. Here you go, Francis. Ooh. Thank you. Yum yum. <laughs> it looks good. It does. Smells good too, don't it? Yes. And this is all I'm having for dinner is meatloaf. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I've done that before. No, but no purple potatoes. No purple potatoes. No grilled asparagus. Just meatloaf. And it's then great. afterwards, have a meatloaf sandwich. Yes. Mm-hmm. With mayonnaise and ketchup. The old seventy-one. Oh, seventy-one. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't ever have a sandwich because I don't have bread in my house. I don't keep it. It probably don't me. last. I mean, you, you don't eat it fast enough. That's just like us. Yeah. South of Fedville. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Fedville, Arkansas. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. He waved to her today. Uh-huh. He was wasn't, wasn't real close, but pretty close. Cats for trash said. That's not fair for him not to get no meatloaf. Him, <laughs> her, who is that? <laughs> is that a him or a her? I can, I, cats for trash is all I know. Well, I'm I'm seeing a man in the picture. Yeah. Okay. I, I I wanted to I, make sure. I'm, I'm but I'm not sure, but I think it's man. Yeah. Oh, Randy wants meatloaf. Uh, mustard on his meatloaf. Oh, nah. Ketchup or barbecue. Ketchup sauce. and mayonnaise. I, I have no mustard in my house either. Yeah. You don't eat mustard, do you? No. <laughs> it's it's a ham. Tats yeah. is a ham. Okay, now we know at least. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the pickiest eater and everybody knows it. So they know if there's anything they want that you don't have in your house, they better bring it if they want it. Well, like I told them the other day when I went to the gender reveal, Nobody uh-huh. has sweet relish. I took my own. <laughs> <laughs> I've carried my own onion before. I sliced it up and I had just enough for me. And everybody goes, where'd you get the onion? I says, at the store. It was in my freezer. Or refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I make sure I eat. Well, Kathy, how have you been doing? 
Okay. How you been doing? I'm here. And Kathy's finished both of her quilts. I'm tired. Cute. Yeah, I know. Yeah. She's been doing good. I'm tired. Driving all day today and being at the VA. And that hurry up and wait at the doctor's office takes yeah. up most of your energy. Yeah. And they want you to be there early and then you have to wait forever to get in. Yeah. Well, now they took him, I must say. That outer thing where his doctor's at, it's an out, it's a different building and okay. it's so easy to park and everything. Um, his appointment was at 3 30 and they took him right at 3 30. Hmm. No, okay, but then it was like 4 30 before we left. Then we had to go to the VA for him to go to the pharmacy to get his two new medicines ah. because if they mailed them. He wouldn't get them till after we left. And so he said he was just going to go pick them up. And are y'all leaving? France? Monday morning. Monday. Okay. The race is not until Sunday, but we've got a, a campsite. My sister and her friend uh, called and got us adjusting. Well, next to each other campsites yeah. From, yeah. from Wednesday till Monday. And I'm just, we're just going to take a couple of days to drive because we're not going to drive at night and we're just going to, I'm going to drive a few hours and stop and I get tired. I'll drive a few, you know, I'll rest a while and then, cause I'm driving. Mm -hmm. So you got someone babysitting all your chickens? Yes. My friend that used to live here, Brenda, uh -huh. instead of my son doing it two times in one week, you know, Brenda's going to stay here and she's going to, she knows about the chickens. So she's going to take care of them. And that way they'll get locked up at nighttime and let out in the mornings. Mm -hmm. I won't have to worry about something eating them, mm -hmm. you know, and she, she's going to stay here. And she'll have plenty of eggs to eat. <laughs> oh, she'll have plenty of everything. Cause I went and she loves ham and I went and got her some ham and a fresh loaf of bread and, I'll go get her Sunday and let her come over and spend Sunday with us. And um, most she'll probably sleep right there on the couch. That's what she likes to do, even though I've got two more beds. Well, that's um, what I like. Sleep. We're going to the vacation rental when we go to Florida. And uh -huh. I said, I get the couch. <laughs> I love I the couch. You. It's actually higher than the bed. Hmm. Wow. But I can't sew nothing. I can't sew nothing. She kept poking herself. Poking herself. <laughs> I'm trying not oh. to. Yes? Cat loves to quilt. Well, yeah. I, I need somebody to help me with this one. Which, Somebody which, needs to help me with, with Missouri Puzzle. I don't like that. I can't make that one. I Hold think, it up a little bit more. A little higher. Um, yeah. Is it Delaware? Yes, it's yeah. Delaware. Someone said go find it okay. on another site that makes more oh, sense. Okay. Would would it be a fat quarter? No, I I would check like even patchwork squares, but just Google it. I've got to find it. I've got a bunch of the pieces cut over there, but I don't have very many of them sewed together because they didn't look like they were the right size. But Randy says he's sleeping on the couch. He'll come on over. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Marla, when she was making it, she kept getting a hold of me and she says how in the heck do i do this and yeah. i never did download the pattern i looked at the pattern excuse me Lisa did, but did it's like it me. didn't make no sense to me either mm -hmm. oh i remember that now because you gotta try to figure out what they're trying to say those pieces because it's just sizes down below but you gotta get them to fit up in the yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm having a couple of problems with that too on a couple of them, and I just, I just walked away from it. I said I'll do it later. 
I'm going to carry some things with me to uh, whenever we're just resting uh, to cut out. Good night, I was going to take them to my brothers, but my brothers, my sons, I mean, because we're thinking about going to my brother's house again. Because <laughs> I tell you, Heather's really taking advantage of us. She don't have nobody else to keep Trevor, but it's getting to be where now she's got this other job and I don't know her hours, how they're going to be, and then having to work for this other lady. I just, I can't, I can't do Trevor that many days. Yes, you are you being taken he had, Doesn't he have a 16-year-old brother? Yes. They probably don't uh, get along with being. He's working too. Oh, he he okay. finally, finally got him a job, but he works, it's like 55 minutes away. Really? Yeah, it's a, a wedding venue place, and he does work, helps working on the grounds. And I mean, he could get a job here making fourteen dollars an hour instead of having to drive that far. Yes, she has mm -hmm. to take him in the morning and mm -hmm. pick him up in the afternoon, and then rush to go here and rush to go there. And oh. and you're stuck with Trevor. And I'm stuck taking it when she picks Timmy up from work, and she has to be at work at three o'clock. I'm stuck with taking Timmy home too. Mm. That's not right. Mm. So I got contacted at 9 30 last night. Grandma, what are you doing? I says, What nothing and or why and what time? <laughs> and she wanted me to babysit <laughs> all day today. It's like I have other things I gotta do. Mm. I didn't have them, but yeah, yeah I didn't it. have it. I didn't have anybody much to take care of my kids. Neither did I. I took care of my own. But if you choose to pick up an extra day, and she hasn't asked me to babysit at all while she's working, she just has me go out when she needs to run to the, like the hospital for labs or to pick up groceries that she doesn't want. I understand that. I only live five miles away. But to put a whole shift on me from 7.30 in the morning to 6.30 at night? No. It's hard. Maybe the other babysitter that you've used all the time. But John's already said, you know, if it's nothing but driving out to Nathan's house and parking in his yard, you know, for a weekend... It, it's and Nathan said that's fine with me. Y'all do that, you know. Show her that you know you're not going to be always there for her. And I've already told her that that you know now we got this motorhome. We're not going to always be sitting at home. And I'm sorry. I'd even leave my house even if I went and sat in Walmart. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> there's got to be some pretty sites that you can just go park and be at near you because i and know if we went and parked in nathan's yard i told him i says well it's like this you and jenny will have some time together because the kids will be in the camper with us <laughs> he said yeah he says that's all right <laughs> uh, they're taking a walk and they're holding hands isn't that sweet <laughs> <laughs> you don't normally see husband and wife out or whoever walking no, but they're going hunting together Saturday morning. Hmm. They're going with her cousin and uh, her husband, which they're the, the the four of them are real close, and they're going turkey hunting. I think it's turkey hunting in season now. I don't know which what it is, but anyway, I just know they're going hunting. Yes, Linda Denton. She said she made red, white, and blue blocks to whoever sent them as a thank you. Mm -hmm. We had one of our red, white, and blue Good blocks. Good night, Pam. Good mailed night, Pam. over a month ago. Returned to sender with four dollars and sixty-five cents postage due. Oh my! Oh. She left it at the post office for four dollars and sixty-five cents. She said they can have the block. <laughs> uh -huh. She'll just make a new one. Uh -huh. Well, Rita, what have you been doing today? 
I don't know, Ned. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. They, she set this live up just for me, Francis. Did she? Yep. That was so sweet. I was supposed to get a box today. Oh. But, but it came too late and they couldn't get in Carrie's building. Oh, so and it didn't make it. I went down there and watched for it, too. So yes. you'll get it. Maybe they'll bring it to you tomorrow. Yeah. He said tomorrow, yes. Yeah. And Maybe they'll the come earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I got two female dog blankets I have to make. Oh. You just go ahead. You just getting all them orders. I got one order from the nice, nice TTC driver who drives me back and forth to school, coming home from school. Uh huh. We were on the bus yesterday. We we pulled over. Said, put, uh, me and him went and see if we could help." Uh huh. We found the house was on fire. Oh. So we stopped. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't far, that far away from the plaza when I go get Dollarama and PetSmart, not mm -hmm. PetSmart, Global Pets, food for Lil, and my drug, the drugstore is there, the bank's there, and it's yeah. that far. Yeah, night cat. Good to know you quilt. Come see us some more. <laughs> <laughs> so... We stopped the bus, and he called his boss, and the boss said, "Okay, I will call the um the fire department." <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> That's what they said. Wake up, Rita. Maybe, maybe yawning, but I'm still I'm awake. I'm half awake. <laughs> yeah. Oh me. Oh yeah, I'd be carrying my pink purse with me. Mm -hmm. That's my. I love this, Rita. With that little design on it, I like that. Uh -huh. And I'm going to start using those instead of cutting all them strips too myself. Me too. Well, we discussed that, and you said you'd like to have one of them, so that's reason. Yeah. Got yes, I love it. I got to figure out what I'm going to make with my three pieces of material. Well, I might look to see if I got some navy blue. Yeah, you need to put some with it. That's not enough to make anything, but but they're pretty pieces, though. You can make they a, are. I love them. You can make them red and white. No, red and blue. And what? You what? Want? Did you have more of this? Which I saw one? that. <laughs> the whole, which one? Hold it up again. Which one? These, all three of them. Uh, are I may have a little bit more of them. Yeah. Um, I might get some more from you. I'll let you know. Okay. I might, might like to get a blue. If you have any blue in it. Okay. But I'll, 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 I'll send you a, a Gmail. Because I still don't have a big selection. I know I don't. Yeah. I still think some of what I got is pretty. So. You've been working on your blocks a lot. I have. I have. I know. She's catching up. I, uh, I need to catch up. I think I got about six I got to do. Let's see. And I just can't get in the mood to do them. You will, Francis. I've got 15 of them, it looks like. Because I'm trying to do both of them. I'm, I'm not doing them both. And I think I'm going to stop at 20 and put them together. Well, I've already started putting some of them together. But I think this is the, the best one so far. I love that one. I like that. Was that the one you picked to just fill in and make it? <laughs> no. No. no it's, uh -uh. it's the Rolling Star. Rolling Star. Okay. When so I, I, do, I did, let's see, that one up here. This one yeah. I just. This one, I just decided I liked it, so I made it. Okay. Yeah. I knew you made one just to make one. And then and then another one, too. This 
This one wasn't on the list either, but I thought it was pretty. Mm, that is pretty. Sashing. It's your quilt. You can do whatever Sashing. you want. Huh? That's true. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so some of these blocks are just not real pretty, I don't think. <laughs> the designs in them. But even when I was oh. thinking, I saw that, Kathy. I heard that, too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'll go to bed and I'll wake up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was up the other night. I couldn't sleep. I tossed and tumbled, and you know, I told y'all Larry sleeps in the recliner because he says the bed hurts his hips. Mm -hmm. I used to do that. So, yeah. So I come from through with the bedroom. Living room is in the middle of the house. Went in my sewing room, and I said I'll be quiet, and I stayed in there for two hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I finally went to bed, I went to sleep, and it was four thirty. Okay. Yeah, this. And morning. I thought when yeah. when I went and laid down, I thought, well, this is time some people's getting up. And here I am, just <laughs> going to bed. Yeah. Go, go worry, Kathy. I did that today. Yeah, I <laughs> just can't sleep sometimes. Sometimes I think it's my anxiety. Is probably what it is because. I go to bed, my mind starts going 90 to nothing. I go to bed, I take my night medicine and I can I, can't. I got I I I know y'all can vouch for me with that. When I take my night medicine, I'm gone, aren't I, Rita? Oh, you sleep. <laughs> what kind of medicine is it, uh, Francis? I take uh oh, what is it called? Wait a minute. I'll tell you. <laughs> I can't take too much medication. I'm trying to translate your block for you, Rita. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of the pieces cut out. Well, they say just cut the pieces out as it says down below. And then I would just lay them out and be... The puzzle, like I do on the design board, is like make your little four little nine patches, make your four little this strip. And I've, I've got, see, I've got some of these little strips, and then I've got some marked ready to cut and sew. But anyway, but down there in that bottom thing where it says two and seven eighths, so that's what each one of those little groupings have to measure. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, it's I take a uh, two lorazepam, okay. which are 0. 0.5 milligrams, mm -hmm. and I take two of them, which I'm supposed to take one during the day and one at night, but I can't take it during the day because it makes me sleepy. Yeah. So I have to take it at night. And oh, I take yeah. one amitriptyline, and that is uh, needed for pain and sleep. Oh, okay. And I take a propofenon, pro however you say it. That is my heart pill. I'm sorry, okay. dear Mary. I have to take I it three times a day. I don't have anything that would make me sleepy. Mm. I would have to I tell that doctor, on. you got to give me something to help me sleep. That's what John yeah. did today. And he, because I had an old bottle of, um, Ambium, and it had two pills mm -hmm. left in it, and it was from 2020. But I thought lorazepam was for anxiety. Uh, I don't know. Because that's why they would have you taking it during the day to calm you down. But if I take it, it puts me to sleep, even yeah. one pill. And that's what it does to my grandson. They. He takes so, lorazepam. Well, he knows now that I take both of them at night, and he didn't say anything about it. But the propofenon, however you say that word, that is uh, my heart pill. It's because I have a lot of fluttering. Like whenever yeah. I lay down and I'm resting and I've had a busy day, my heart flutters. Okay. And this this really helps it three times a day. But, but taking the two okay. lorazepam, you sleep well? Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> it's like I'm. I, 
if you want to experiment, I might even try just one lorazepam and see if it's enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that is I usually I usually wake up early seven seven thirty. That's not early to some of you, but I'll usually wake up about that time. And John say, "What time is it?" Well, we're it retired. <laughs> we can wake up whenever we want. That's right. Mm -hmm. Rita's still a farm wife, so hey, she has to get up. I get, I get up later and later every day. I think. That's because yeah. you're tireder and tireder every day. Mm -hmm. You took on another little chore. I'm at a job. But it's a fun chore. Yep. You enjoy it. Yeah. I my, my, the favorite part's being purchasing agent. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to be the head of the thing that has to pay the bills? The book bills, <laughs> the bookkeeper, the inventory. I don't want none of that. So. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm going to mute myself a minute. Okay. But Jane Mary said she was thinking about meatloaf, so she has to go make some. <laughs> uh, it's like, it smells so good in this house. Uh, yeah, I got, well, I'll make one tomorrow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go make one tonight. Yeah, but it's like, you got to plan and get things out. Mm-hmm. Because it's not something that you can just do it. No, it takes a little bit of time. Thaw, thawing out the meat and baking it. Mm -hmm. um, and my dad bought me what's called a meatloaf pan. It looks like a bread pan that has an insert. Mm -hmm. And so you don't add anything to it as it's baking. All the grease goes below that little thing. Okay. I've, oh, okay. I've seen I've seen those. I've never had one, but I think they'd work. I and then also came with it is a as a long knife and it has a guide so you can cut your meatloaf all about three quarter inch thick. And I go, well, I need thicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I mean in this meatloaf. Yeah. yeah, if I was cutting them, I'd cut me a smaller piece and tear you a bigger piece so they all wouldn't be the same size, probably. Yeah. I said uh -huh. this would probably be better for slicing bread. Once you get the heel off, just go in and slice the bread with it. And even meatloaf. I like the outside edge of the meatloaf, too. Yes, I do, too. My dad That's did. my favorite. My dad loved it. The heat, I call it the heel of everything. That's me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I like the corners of this and the heel of the that bread. Yeah, heels of the bread. Yeah, I use the heels of the bread as hamburger buns. Yeah, because they hold together. Yeah, they and don't. He, they don't get thrown out. That's what I eat first. And see, in my son's house and my daughter's house, that gets thrown out. And I says, no, if you're making a sandwich, just put your other stuff on the heel part, and then then you're not seeing that it's a heel. Mm -hmm. It works just as good. Mm -hmm. So I told him to save me the heels then. Mm -hmm. I'm back. That was Johnny couldn't get his daddy, so I had to take his daddy my phone. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I got my cute little bag, too. Yeah. <laughs> did, I, did I just send you the little bag? I don't think you had to have a big bag, because the big bags are pretty, too. But I think Oh, are they? Yeah, this is a little one. It fit in there good. It fit. I had to use the scissors to get in the outer part, though. Well, you know, I have yep. to take it because I don't want the things to I know. pour out all of it. I know. I could just see somebody ripping a hole in it and dragging something out of the bags. <laughs> yeah. She's a good taper. And then I try to put yeah. it all over the address label so it don't get ripped off yeah that's how i do it too mm -hmm. oh, oh, i'd rather that. over tape yeah we do it up here too we lay, put the label on and then tape it up then when it's ready you put everything in First, we put the label down first, then we tape it, then we file everything in, then tape the whole thing 
Oh, I am tired. I I don't know. Well, ladies, what do you think? What time did y'all have to be there this morning, Francis? Huh? What time did y'all have to be there at the VA today? Well, we didn't have to be there till 3 30. Mm. Well, John thought it was 3 o'clock. Well, we left here at quarter after 2, and I was driving, but I made it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And they made it home. But I had Trevor all morning. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So it was relaxing to get in the car and drive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's, there's Johnny. <laughs> Francis Owen, Dad's cup and go give it to him, please. Oh, there's wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Send a message. Just send an That's funny. Then back. Oh, is that his cup? Oh, I didn't know that was his cup, son. We're just one big happy family here. It was such a little box. <laughs> Let me go get this. <laughs> anything, anything else you want us to tell him, Johnny? Oh, he says, "Hey, y'all." Hello, Johnny. <laughs> hey. At least he knows how to get a hold of his mom. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the one that broke his toe. <laughs> oh, how's your toe, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody's saying hi to Johnny. Johnny, everybody's asking you how your toe is. Yeah. And he is going to go back to the doctor. Okay. I told him it was best for him, too, for the company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's hanging on. Don't let it fall <laughs> off. Don't let it fall off. It's a wonder it didn't cut off. Oh, Johnny, do you quilt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one old question. <laughs> Or are you a guy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> How old I are hope you? he's a guy. Are you, <laughs> are you sure, Francis? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, sometimes, sometimes when they come in, we have to interrogate everybody to see where they're from. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Johnny. Y'all see? What he sent his daddy for his birthday, if I can get it turned right. John, fly high, win, pop. A Hope Air Force Base. Base. And, and then on this side, it's that side, it's got USAF, Pope Air Force Base, US Air Force, Bevel, North Carolina. Oh, okay. wow. And it'll keep whatever, hot, hot or cold. Well, he don't drink nothing hot, so... Identify has a NASCAR cup car. <laughs> that, that nice. Do you I ever get up on the TV when they're racing, Johnny? I don't think they're allowed to do that. Yeah. But hmm. I'm going to go finish my vacuuming because Rita said she was getting ready to go. Yeah. yeah, and I am too. Good night, Johnny. Talk to we, your daddy. We, we've we've caught up. We've caught up with each other, and we all need to calm down and get ready for bed. Try to get some sleep if we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, I might not sleep because of my parcel coming tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh well, you Terry, just, just think it's tomorrow. Yeah. It's coming, so sleep tonight. Yeah. 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 And stay awake tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. He said sometimes <laughs> I sneak by yes. camera. Sometimes it's, he sneaks by a camera. Oh, well, wow. I seen him um, at one of the races um, with the tire guys uh, pushing him with uh, those dolly things. That's what hmm. they don't, he oh, don't. He said, He's, he don't go out and put them on the race car. They just uh, have them out there for them. And then when they take the ones off of the car, they roll them to where Johnny and them's at. And then they have to put them on the truck. Yeah. Larry said that when we seen them, it was when they were changing over to uh, what kind of tires? The rain tires. The rain tires. Oh. I seen a bunch of guys with Good the night, Deb. 
Good night, J. Mary. Good night, everybody. Good night, y'all. Love y'all. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everybody. See you guys all tomorrow sometime. Yeah, we'll see you to all you tomorrow. We'll see Carrie tomorrow. Yeah. What time are they supposed to deliver yeah. it? Don't know. Oh. Send me a message so I can. Pop uh, up later. Yeah. All right. I'll keep checking every little every once in a while. Yeah. And I gotta watch yeah. Rita's got to open her box for us. Yeah. Tomorrow. I've got a box open. Yeah, we may do it at the same time if we if we might come. We we won't do it at the same time. No. We won't do that. <laughs> All right. All right. Good night, y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Good night.